Hi everyone, I'll be guiding you on how to fill out forms properly to ensure your query is correctly triaged and dealt with effectively. First and foremost, you need to make sure you contact us via our support centre and also ensure that you are signed in. Also check if there are any articles that address your question first, but if not, please proceed to raise a request. To submit a request, start by clicking the submit a request button and that will take you to this page where you have three boxes which cover the totality of queries that can be raised with token under technical request, non-technical request and feature requests. In this video, we will be looking at data or AI's query by completing a test submission. To get started, click on the technical request button and this will take you to the screen where you're then required to fill in the form so that we have as much information as possible to assist with your query. Please note, it is mandatory to complete this form fully as failure to do so will result in an inability to submit your request. I'll demonstrate this further down by leaving one of the required sections blank. On that note, let's carry on with our test submission. We're going to go with data or AIS as the affected product. You'll also notice the option to CC in other individuals in your organization. Because I'm signed in, I'm able to do that. But at this point in time, there is no one I want to CC in on this email. So I will leave that blank because as you'll see, it's an optional section. The AIS technical query, technical reason for this example would be transaction issue. So data requested has not been returned, the amount of dates returned is incorrect, and any other issues along those lines. With regard to impact, how much of an impact is this issue having on your organization? Is it a single end user, a service completely inoperable, or is it somewhere in between? Based on this factors and consideration, you can then select the appropriate impact level, ranging from critical to high to medium to low. I'm going to leave this one as low because it's affecting a single end user. For more information, please check out our insightful support center article titled, How Can I Raise a Support Ticket? As this goes into more detail about the different impact levels. Once you've selected the appropriate one, we'll consider further down the form. The account ID would be the one starting with A followed by a colon. So I'm just going to put that in as well. For the token ID, where you can provide us any of the listed options, I'm going to go with request ID. Bank ID is the bank ID of the bank affected. I'm going to go with and the affected bank country, where is that affected bank based? Also, when did this issue occur? Just going to put a time in. The error message displayed. I'm going with invalid authorization. The endpoint is an optional section, but if you do have this information, kindly provide it at this point. For example, get transactions endpoint. The merchant or TPP name, and then the environment, which is either production or sandbox. Your subject line should be a short introductory text that summarizes the query being raised. Based on what you filled in, a drop down of suggested articles from our help center is revealed. If you haven't already checked this prior to fill in this form, please take a moment to assess whether any of these could potentially address your query. Following review, if none of the suggestions will resolve the issue, please proceed to the description where you can provide more in-depth details of your requests. If it's details you've already provided above in any of the boxes, you do not need to repeat them in the description. It can just be an addition to those. 
So if there's anything else you'd like us to know that hasn't been included above, please write it out in the description box. Finally, if there's any attachments, if you have a screenshot, screen recording, an Excel file, whatever you feel would help us with our investigation, please add them here. As I mentioned earlier, I've intentionally left one of the mandatory fields empty. Let's try to submit this form and see what happens. So the page will reload and if you scroll down, the section that hasn't been completed should be highlighted. There we go. Environment cannot be blank. So I'm going to put the environment in now as production and we should be able to submit without any further issues. There we go. You do get a confirmation straight away letting you know that your request was successfully submitted and it takes you to your activities page since you are signed in and shows you that submitted request with the details you filled in. And that's how you fill out the form. Thanks so much for watching.